Well, hello, and welcome to the latest SES newscast. I'm your anchor, Miss Spartan Spirit. Well, did my hat give away the clue of what our theme is this week? It's Happy Chinese New Year. You see, at the end of this week, we are starting a new year. And I know that seems kind of crazy, but we are. And Mrs. Yi, coming up later on, is going to explain all about the Chinese New Year. So, first up, we're going to turn on over to little Spartan Stanley, who has a very hard hiding spot this week. Where in the school is little Stanley Spartan? Can you guess where I am this time? Little Spartan Stanley, I don't know what to say. That was the hardest hiding spot I have ever seen you find. So I can't wait till the end of the newscast to find out where that is. But first, we're going to turn on over to Mrs. Lawinger, our principal. Well, good evening, students. I want to welcome back uh, all of our grades four and five hybrid students. It sure was nice to see some of our students back in the building again. Thank you for coming in and getting settled quickly. We had a very, very smooth week. I want to remind grades four and five students, as well as all other grades, on your at-home days, if you are a hybrid student, you are still expected to engage in the learning. The way you do that is to log into your Chromebook, both into Seesaw or Google Classroom, it works the same, to see what your teacher has planned for you for the day. Engaging in that work at home is how we mark attendance on your at-home days. I want to congratulate Oakley Smith and Amy Bladick. They really stepped up this week in response to Mrs. Redding's Perseverance Challenge. Both of these students completed two full pages of their own words using the letters from the word perseverance. Way to go, Oakley and Amy. This is a reminder that we still have our Wednesday read aloud. You can join us at 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. using the nickname Read Aloud. We have recess bags at school that were generously purchased by our PTO. You may bring things to school to put in your recess bags, like a jump rope, sidewalk chalk, a book, a Hot Wheels cards, anything that is for your hands only. Uh, they are to be used both outside and for indoor recess. Balls and any type of electronics are not allowed in our recess bags. Thank you for your help with this. Calling all distance learners, we want you to pick up your Valentine bingo board and your treat sack pick uh, this Tuesday or Wednesday. You may pick up from 8.30 to 4.30 on Tuesday or 8.30 to 5.30 on Wednesday. This is for use in our school-wide celebration on Thursday with cohort B. So Valentine's Day is different this year. We are providing a school-wide celebration in order to keep everybody safe. We are not having students bring Valentine cards or treats from home this year. Uh, we will be taking care of this uh, at school. So thank you for your help with this as we continue to work hard to keep everybody safe. This weekend is President's Weekend. We have no school on Friday and no school on Monday. That means there will be no Google Meets. There won't be work uh, put into Seesaw and Google Classroom. We want you to just enjoy the four days with your family. And we will see you on the 16th. Have a good week, everyone. Thank you so much, Mrs. Lawinger. Next up, we have a special treat with a video that's going to warm your heart. From Mrs. Redding's office over in the counseling corner, she's going to be talking to us about responsibility. Hi, students and families. I would first like to say what an honor it is that I get to come and speak with you every week and share my thoughts with you. 
And today I'm having a thought about responsibility. And the thought I'm having is that responsibility isn't always something that we do alone, that we show by ourselves, that we do for ourselves and by ourselves. Sometimes responsibility is something that we do together, that we do with each other and for each other. So I wanted to share a short video clip that I found very heartwarming. And it's about how a community comes together to take care of each other together and to keep others safe. I hope you enjoy it. Wow, Mrs. Redding, that video was so touching. I loved how a community could all come together, just like our SES community, and we can take on that challenge of responsibility to make our world a better place. Speaking of our world and it being a better place, it's the beginning of Chinese New Year, and Mrs. Yi over in first grade wants to tell us all about it. Hello, Stanwood Elementary students. Did you know that not everyone in the world celebrates New Year's on January 1st using our calendar? While our calendar is based on the sun, others like those who live in Asia use a calendar based on the moon. In 2021, this year, Chinese New Year begins Spring Festival on February 12th and it'll last for 16 days. It'll end on February 26th with the Lantern Festival. Each year a different animal in the zodiac is celebrated. Last year it was the year of the rat. This year is the year of the ox. There are 12 animals total and there are many traditions connected to the Chinese New Year. For example, some of my favorite have to do with things that you should and shouldn't do and these include you should clean your house before the New Year's Day to sweep all away all the bad things from the past. But on New Year's Day, you should not do that at all so that you don't sweep away the good luck. Another one is that you shouldn't say any negative or bad 
words. Otherwise, you might jinx your chance for a Happy New Year. And let me share one more. You shouldn't say Happy New Year to someone who's still in bed. Otherwise, you might jinx them into staying in bed for the whole year. Oh, and I almost forgot one more. Do not cut your hair on Chinese when you cut it before because you don't want to cut off your good luck. Other traditions are related to clothing. Since many people in China used to be farmers, and sometimes there is only one harvest for the year, they would scrimp and save to get a new outfit as a way of forgetting the hardship of the past year. And they would look forward to good things to come for the new year. And those who couldn't afford a new outfit, sometimes they get it as a gift. And when buying Chinese New Year clothes, you go for red, symbolizing luck, joy, and happiness. And also a way to ward off evil. And also stay away from black and white because they are very unlucky and negative. And most importantly, all of these celebrations during the Chinese New Year are done together as a family. All family go back to visit their family for a reunion during the Chinese New Year. Now let's move on to another category. This is one of my favorites. Foods. Foods that are eaten during this time. One is the egg rolls. Egg rolls are actually supposed to be spring rolls and they start the spring festival of the new year. The next one is dumplings or jiaoza as said in Chinese, which also sounds like another word meaning exchange. So the symbol of that is you're packaging and exchanging the old for the new. And sometimes these dumplings are made together as a family bonding activity. And make sure that you make your dumplings, of course, before the new year. And you know what? Even sometimes they would put a coin inside those dumplings. And if you were the lucky one to get that coin, you would have good luck in the new year. Now, in other places, cooking dumplings and noodles together is also a tradition, symbolizing gold silk for the noodle and gold bags and the dumplings together, expressing wishes of prosperity in the new year. Chinese people love to eat long noodles. The longer, the better, because the longer your life will be as you're slurping up those noodles. Next is the fish. The fish is a must for the new year. It is prepared and then it is eaten in a specific manner. You eat half one day, and half on the other day. And the reason for this is to symbolize and prolong the prosperity. The head and the tail are finished last and they are to symbolize what you have started. And then you would place the head of the fish facing your guests at the dinner table. Now another food is the rice cake. These are a must for the Chinese New Year. It's a wish to be more successful and last for a long time. And next is spring. Spring is the season to plant new seeds. You'll find vegetable dishes, finish off the stored and preserved vegetables from the winter, and the others to welcome in the great new year. And one of my favorites is lotus seed, a blessing for many children and a healthy family. Now finally, to end our traditions are, here are some of the highlights to the celebration of Chinese New Year are, red envelopes that are given to children filled with brand new crispy money and there's also a Chinese New Year parade featuring a dragon and some lions dancing. The sounds of loud drums, a gong, and fireworks. The colors are mostly bright red, green, and yellow in order to bring in some luck and happiness for the new year. And the loud sounds are to ward off the evil and the bad luck. Now, do you want to learn some Chinese? Want to learn how to say Happy New Year in Cantonese? It would be Gong Hei Fa Choi. Okay, say it again. Gong hei fa choi. Say it like you mean it. Gong hei fa choi. Happy New Year, everyone. Gung hey fat joy everyone and thank you so much Mrs. Yi. I can't believe all that you know about the Chinese New Year. Thank you for sharing it with all of us. All right everyone we have a special treat in store. Our kindergarten is full of superheroes. That's right. They are full of responsibility and they want to share it with all of you. All right my friend Baron. How can you be a superhero and responsible? But I say guinea pigs. You can feed your guinea pig? Yeah, I feed it. Good job. Maria, how can you be responsible? I clean the room when my sisters make a mess. In a little period. I would help my mom do the dishes. And then a period. I feed my cat cheese and Oreo. Good job. Period. Nice job. Hey, Landon, 
How can you be a superhero and responsible? If I save him, I can't. From a volcano? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> Wow, who knew we had so many responsible kindergarten superheroes? I love how they shared all their ideas, and especially the one that was going to save the cat from the volcano. Oh my! All right, everyone, next up we have a joke of the week. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Abby. Abby who? Happy Chinese New Year! <laughs> Abby, Chinese New Year. <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks, girls. All right, it's time for little Spartan Stanley to reveal his secret hiding space. Hmm, you were at the sink washing your hands. What a good idea, especially now that everybody's back at SES again. Hygiene and cleanliness is more important than ever. Great idea, Stanley. All right, everyone, that's it for this week. Until next time, I'm Miss Spartan Spirit. Music